everybody. Welcome to Scrap and Dippity. We are a small store in Calgary, Alberta. Um, we have an online store, scrapandippityorders.ca, orders with a Z. So if anyone out there watching wants to go to that site and order anything, we can ship to you almost anywhere. Canada and the US for sure. Um, today, Diane, my coworker, is going to do a card for you. Some of you have the kits. Here she is. That's it, that's well, it. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Scrap and Dippity. This is my first attempt to uh, teach an online class, so I hope uh, I go at a right speed so I don't screw up anything. <laughs> and if I do, that's okay. You guys won't. Um, all right, so we are here to make three cards today. And fall is my favorite time of year, and our store is overflowing with lots of beautiful fall papers, fall stamps, but Today, I decided, because when I designed this, we didn't actually have any fall paper in. So, I am showing you today how to create your own colorful paper using our oxides. So, I will just go through this step by step. I guess if you have any questions... I'm going to stand up because okay. the chair I'm on keeps going oh. down. <laughs> so, I don't want to all of a sudden just lose you. I'll be at your knees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with three Distress Oxides. What colors are you using? I am using Vintage Photo. And if you don't have the exact same colors, just use any brown that you have. And I'm using, of course, the new Speckled Egg because it had just arrived when I designed this. And then a little bit of orange. I have wild honey, but I think I had mentioned another um, color, so another yellow would look good as well. So it's really easy to just improvise if you don't have the exact colors. Um, and then we're just going to give this a little spray. And I always like to spray it so that you can see little beads forming. And that makes it so that your paper is ready to go through the inks. Um, I just wanted to say one thing. If anyone has any questions, go ahead and ask, but we're going to wait till the end to answer just so that I don't interrupt Diane when oh, okay. she's on her thought thinking. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's a good idea. All right. And then, and then if you don't have quite enough color, you can just go back in. And for this, you can use watercolor paper, but you don't have to because with the oxides, they go together pretty, pretty nice. There, and then just spray that a little bit more, add a little bit more color, and I'm just going to heat set that. This is where we need a song. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Last weekend I went away and I took about 10 sheets of paper, cut it up into regular cardstock size for a card, and I had about 15 of my oxide inks in front of me, and I just played, and it's it's so fun because you can create so many different colors, different combinations. And as you're creating, I have a couple girls right behind me that are have been here all day. We have six, two, four, six girls that were lucky enough to win the draw to come in for the day. And so some of the girls have the kit. So they're joining along with me live while I'm doing this. <laughs> all right. Um, Woohoo! Woo Woo girls. <laughs> I've taught Sunday school. I do the three o'clock live some days, but this is different to a live class. So I won't. With me. I won't tell you how many people are watching because it oh. might make you nervous. Oh no, really? <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so much fun. Now I feel better. All right. Yeah, way for um, Katerina and Jackie to get this going through through COVID and still being able to participate yeah, in this exactly. is very thank cool. You. I feel very honored yeah. that I was uh, asked to, to teach a class. So, all right. So what I've done now, you got your stamp set kit. This is the stamp set that, that you got. So use any of these and you can even use more than one color. You might have gotten a different stamp set because there was a a variety of three different ones yes. so you might have got a different right. set in your kit so now look at this background how simple is that so if you don't have oh good job over there that looks <laughs> great 
<laughs> All right, and so, you go? yeah, that's awesome. I love oxides. You can be so creative with them. All right, and now I'm going to take, let's say, um, I'm going to do this one. And I'm just going to do a background, a little bit around the edges. And I'm going to do some of the brown. Okay, I don't like that one as much, so I'm going to switch <laughs> it back to this one because it's a little bit more organic looking. It's not as, see, look at that. And I just stamped right around the edges with it. And there you go. Cute. Right? And then I am going to take my brush with a speckled egg. Oops. And I'm just going to put, just add a little bit of color. These are the best brushes. I've only used these a couple times. In fact, I have one up front on my work order and I forgot to bring it back here. So I'm using Selena's. But What? You're using <laughs> mine and you have one back Oops, there? Yeah. <laughs> hey. I had already closed the till. And <laughs> oh, excuses. And I, uh -huh. had, I haven't paid for it yet. So I thought I better not bring it back. Caught on <laughs> film. Yeah, exactly. Busted. <laughs> we have quite the uh, ride here, so if you're ever bored and want to watch us at 3 o'clock on Fridays... Or can... any day. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't. Uh, no. <laughs> she forgets about me. She's uh, Friday. Any, I'm all the other days. <laughs> any day of the week, we uh, have fun, as you can see, and we do a technique, and we show you whatever is new. So sometimes we get in trouble because we show too many good products, and... Uh, but we have so much fun. <laughs> I haven't watched anything today because I was busy up front with customers, but um, I hope everybody's been having a really good time today. I'm going to go home and watch the rest of the evening. Oh, watch. This is going to come squishing out on me. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's because I was demoing this afternoon. It's because it's live. Everything yeah, happens when it's live. I back to the customers, and so I didn't put the pin in right away. That art glitter glue is awesome. All right. Oh. Oh. Just one sec. <laughs> ah, forgot. So, I, I give a lot of credit to these teachers like Carla, who taught earlier. And it's always just so calm. It's so organized. Organized. I am organized, but I forget. <laughs> oh, they're all laughing at me. We, right. we tend to fly by the seat of our pants yeah, here sometimes. Right. We run into the camera just minutes before it's exactly. ready to go. So that's the ribbon. So if you think I cheated you out of ribbon, I didn't. What you do <laughs> is take your ribbon, tie a little knot in it, and then just glue it to the back. So I didn't give you enough to wrap around the whole thing. Only because it's, uh, I only had enough ribbon for that. So <laughs> it just goes slightly around the back. And plus it shows you how to save a little bit. And um, you don't need all that extra bulk on the back. No, so. exactly. Because then the card tends to come apart a little bit easier. And they get top heavy and they never stand up. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. Corner rounder. And we're just going to round the corners of this background piece. Okay. So yours might be slightly different. I, I had a few different patterned papers, but they're all quite light. Then what you can do is take your, or Selena's, <laughs> um, brush, <laughs> and you're just gonna... There's lots of familiar up. faces, lots of hellos from familiar people. Oh, hello, hello, we'll just everybody. do one big group, hello everyone, <laughs> and I'll Thank answer everyone so later. I really appreciate uh, you checking in today. I thought, oh, if I get 10 people watching, I'll be lucky, but this is awesome. There's a few more than that, I'll okay. just say that. <laughs> All right, so that's next. So you've rounded your corners, and then you're going to pop that up right here. Right, are, you looking, are you looking for my stash? No, this is mine. <laughs> oh. I like being the cameraman. I always see what you're grabbing now. Yeah, exactly. I get in trouble. <laughs> Her Selena stuff is in perfect order. The lids are on it. And last week I was teaching a demo here and I used hers. I can tell because all the lids that are missing are the ones Diane used. Yes. So then I was at home and I pulled my lids off of my bottles and then I went to bring them in and my brand new puppy decided to chew on them. So she doesn't like me borrowing her stuff, which I don't blame her. <laughs> all right. There we go. Oops. 
Then you're going to take your little brad and poke a little hole in your tag, which I already stamped for you, and just open it up. And then again, anchor along the edges a little bit. And if you want it a little bit darker, what I even do is just go direct. Sometimes I'm in a, you know, bit of a hurry, but I like doing it this way too because it just becomes a little bit darker on the edges. There we go. Yeah, it's a different look. It's not as soft either. No, so. no. And another pop up on there. And we're not going to put that down quite yet. Then we're going to take the wreath and make sure I didn't poke everything out because that takes a little bit longer and I know you know you like to make the cards and so I leave all those little bits in the die cut so you can po poke them out. Maybe by the for the people that got them by mail maybe some of them got joggled out by the time they arrived. <laughs> yes exactly hopefully everybody's arrived in time as far as New Orleans. Oh. How exciting is that? Yes. All right so then you're going to put your wreath down onto your yellowish piece of paper not mustard color and then we're just gonna trim around that there we go I have an itchy nose oh no what do I do I'm holding the camera with two Michelle, hands here <laughs> can you scratch your nose? <laughs> okay so there you go and if you want again this, this okay. paper already has something on joggle it. joggle okay <laughs> okay and I if you want, you can just stamp tiny little bits on there, right? Just don't even need the all the all the little bits of extra stamping just adds a little more texture to it. All right, then we're going to glue this down. So we are open tomorrow at 10 o'clock. So if you want to um, come in and see all the cool stuff Selena has, She's usually here till midnight at least <laughs> and um, every day pretty much lately we've been getting new stuff in. Christmas, lots of Christmas stuff. Vicki Booten. Booten came in today. That's yes. right. Well not her personally but <laughs> her stuff came her in. Stuff. So. I'm happy with that. That was exciting. We had squeals through the room. Oh we did. Absolutely. Oops. This flower just got a little tiny bit squished. So I also forgot to mention if anybody is looking to order online, it's 20% off during the whole carnival. Oh, awesome. Yeah. That's a great idea. Okay, then you're going to, sorry, are, are you showing up close so they can? I am. Okay. Yep. I'm Just, zooming in both. Okay, they want to see your face too. Oh, no, not really. <laughs> there you go. So then you're going to add your two flowers on the bottom left-hand side. Show those girls over there. <laughs> All right, and then the tag gets put at the top left-hand corner. And I'm popping most of this stuff up. It's a very uh, three-dimension card. Beautiful. Turn it sideways just so they can see the... This, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can see all the layers there. Lots of shadows. Okay. Very cool. Good. All right, now we're going to do the bird. So in the instructions you got, I said, because it is watercolor paper... You can use Tombos. I love to use my Tombos. Um, but then again, if you want, you can use the same colors that we've already used. So I'm gonna use the same colors, but I think I might add maybe just a little bit more blue than I had used on the background. So you're using the same colors, but just different um, strength. Um, I'll use a little bit of this one too. Okay. And every time you do this, it turns out different. So we'll see if it turns out as good as my original. <laughs> At least you have that one for a sample. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So you have three pieces. So you're going to do your whole bird, and then your part of the bird, and then also your wing. But make sure you poke Sorry. out all the little bits, too. Okay, is that clear as mud? <laughs> clear as mud. Just like this, the table oh. there. Oh, that is. that's cool. Is that gorgeous? That's so cute. See, girls? So there. It, it's just so easy to use these inks. Oxides uh, are just the dream. 
and then you're gonna dry that heat set that and then if you feel you missed a little spot I missed a tiny bit of his bur uh, foot there you go so then you're gonna do the next one as well and just stick it in those colors um, there is a code for the coupon, and I think it's Carnival 2020, but I will type it in after in the comments because I don't want to stray you wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. And she can't look on her phone right now. I can't look on my phone right now. <laughs> All right. So then, you, I did the wrong side. There we go. Okay. Don't like that. So just going to add. You can always fix up things with scrapbooking there's a scrapbooking card making there's no mistakes it's a reason no uh, an excuse to embellish is that what yeah it? that's right so if you've colored it and you don't you're not really happy with it because I wasn't because I this side looks nicer but I see I was uh, facing it the wrong way so I just put it in there and if you don't quite like it or you want it a little bit different darker just use your blending tool and then you can add a little bit more color all right so then we're gonna use my glue and you're gluing down the next part. There you go. Oops. Hang on. There we go. Yeah. Oh, oh put it down. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Sorry. And then I'm just gonna do the wing. And I think I'm just gonna maybe do it more in the blue. Little spritz of water. So I don't like how he turned out as good as this one, but I could sit and do these little birdies all night long. I made a whole bunch of these cards and they're so fun. Watching TV and just relaxing and doing this sort of stuff. Okay, so again, if you don't quite like the color, just take your brush and you can add some more color to it. Put your little wing down. And this is on YouTube, so uh, you can watch it later on, just in case you want to repeat it. <laughs> you missed something. And then I just took a marker and colored in his beak. Oh, so he can tweet. He can tweet, tweet, tweet. He's, that's a little bit dark. There. All right. So here's my first original one, and here's the second one. No two birds will look ever alike, <laughs> even if I'm using the exact same colors. Right. Okay, so there we go. And some more pop-ups. Awesome. So how many people are thinking of Christmas already? Holy yeah. cow. I know, we've been so busy with people coming in and I think it's because, partially because of COVID and, um, you know, because we might not be able to get together with our families, so it's nice to there's probably more Christmas cards going to be made this year than yeah. <laughs> than in years. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't like his beak. It's a little little bit too dark. The last one I did was better, but anyways. All right. So, that is our first card. Ta-da! Ta Love it. See, Very cute. So you wish you would have been making that instead of scrapbooking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's our first one. Now, and we have just enough time to do a quick rundown That's of it. the other ones. No, well, there's... Holy cow! Yeah. Okay. We have 10 minutes. All right. So, the next one... You must be having fun if time is flying. That's for sure. <laughs> Friday night, what else is there to do? Craft. Wine. Wine. Craft. <laughs> uh, that, that was coming from the peanut gallery back there. I, right. hope, I hope when you so, say wine, you're talking drinking and not, not wine, whining. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is the next card. And this one's pretty pretty straightforward this is beautiful mushroom paper we have still some of that in in the store love that paper all right so you're going to put your first one down your first layer and then the pattern piece is going to go next i'll just speed it up a bit so we can show the third one so then i'm going to just go around the edges make it look pretty and Glue that down. Glue that down. All right. And then I love to pop up stuff, of course. So a little bit of brown around the edges and a little bit of brown around the edges of this one. And then you're going to pop it up. You even built that upside down for us. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. And I put it in the bottom left-hand corner. If you prefer to center it, you can center it as well. Okay. So the next one is just um, a little bit more. I want to show them how to uh, decorate, do the wood. All right. So here's the third one. Sorry if it's a little bit rushed, but you can go back. I guess we only have so much time. All right, so with this one, this is a beautiful new die cut from Paper, Paper Rose. Rose. And I have cut and I think it's just called Maple Leaf. Maple I think. Leaf, yeah. I love this. I think I cut out mm, probably about 80 leaves. And they cut out like butter. I was doing these ones at 6 this morning. And... They cut out so nice. The Paper Rose is a really nice company. What dye is this one, the edge? Is that oh. Penny Black? Yeah. We'll, we'll look it yeah. up for you. I'm sorry, it's an older one. All right, so what you're gonna do is take your leaves. The brown one I just put right down, the, the copper on top of the brown. And then with the yellowish one, again, I would go back in doop, and add a little around the edges you could even take your stamp let's see let's try another stamp i'll try this one and just a little tiny bit just to give it a little bit of dimension or not dimension just texture to it there or you can leave it plain but look at that look at how cool that looks gorgeous i hadn't even done that on the original so and then with your background piece, again, what you're going to do is your three colors and put it on the mat, swipe it, and then dry it and keep going back to you like it how it is. Then you have the wood pieces. Oh, I kind of lost them. Oh, well, here they are. So you can buy little pieces, wood pieces in all sorts of stores. And I love these little things. And you think, how are you going to decorate them? But it's so easy. So put it in your ink pad. See, girls? I just put it right, in, right into the ink pad. If you try to use a blending brush, it takes too long. Right? So one color. Yeah, there we go. There. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to use this color next. And I always like to use the art glitter glue for when I have embellishments or if you wanted to there you go now that's the oxide ink this one wasn't the oxide ink by accident I grabbed the wrong one but look at the coverage on those two and then this one is also an oxide so let me show you this it? one it's, uh, it's, uh, 656. Okay. 656 okay. okay there you go and that's how you decorate those and then just you need to cut out your word just trim it down a bit and pop it up and and there you go. I have how long? Seven. Seven minutes. Oh, okay. I guess yeah, I could have slowed down. You can slow down now. <laughs> sorry. I just can't tell because no. uh, the screen covers my my oh, clock. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give us a one minute warning. Anyways, back to this. So what you're gonna do is once you've done your background, and I didn't do it just for time's sake, and then you're going to. You probably could. I probably could. Then you're gonna do the brown. Lay it down. Okay, okay, well, let's do it then. Let's do it. Yeah, okay. We can go into the next block, can't we? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, yeah, Katrina and Jackie, you guys have done a fabulous job. We have had people in the store all day, and we've had the screen going all day, and it has been really a lot of fun back here today. With Well, we always have fun in here, but today was awesome, and I'm looking forward to relaxing tomorrow and sitting back and and uh, watching some more. Tomorrow you get to enjoy it. Exactly. Oh, I'm actually, I'm really enjoying this. All right, so this one. Again, I've used the exact same colors, but this one, I used a different color background as well. Oops. <laughs> Don't start a fire. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. It could be a little drier. Wake this up. Okay, and a little bit of glue. And 
You can always corner around this one as well. Or another one I really like to use is the decal. De uh, no, the ticket stub. stub? Yeah, the ticket, ticket stub is stub. cool. We just actually got some more of those in. All right, so look at this color. Oh, see, I didn't add as much blue. Here, I'll set it down. Yep, they're always different. They are. And now, if you don't find it's quite splotchy enough or something, you can just add some more color, splot it again into there, and it will look really nice. All right, now the trick is doing this. Um, now, if you are cutting out die cuts and you're finding they're really intricate, if you use Sequin tape or the Spellbinders sheets that are sticky on one side, you put your piece down, your paper down and then your die cut and then all you have to do is peel off the back and you're done okay that's not quite straight but i'm just going to show you the other one here well i hope you guys are going to partake all day tomorrow i hear there's some prizes to be had allison stopped in today to see us that was lots of fun I'm not used to being live for this long. Holy cow. No, we usually 12 minutes, 13 minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Especially when you said, oh, we're almost done. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Mm, let's see here. So we, I'm do, doing this upside down, actually. <laughs> upside down to us or you? No, <laughs> to you, to, you uh, to me. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I really love the difference between the oxide and the regular, but they both work. They're just different. Um, okay. And when I do embellishments, I always like to do two closer together and then one just a little bit farther away. There you go. And then all you have to do is add your sentiment, which is right here. Now you can tear it or you can cut it. I will cut it. Oops, it's not very straight, obviously. <laughs> I'm not using my own cutter, that's why. <coughs> oh yeah, I'm using Selena's. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she is trouble. These girls are here till what, midnight, 1 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now she's really asking. <laughs> Selena said she's so gonna be here late, so you girls might as well stay uh -huh. late too. Anybody bring their sleeping bags besides her? <laughs> Georgette? We have a whole crew here today. Oh. Oh, it's not cutting very good. I guess you should have torn it. <laughs> yeah, I should have. All right, there we go. And then again, I like to always add color. My, my evil right. plan worked. If I put a blade in there that doesn't work, nobody uses it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. Two minutes. Two minutes? All right. And then you should have um, another bigger piece of paper. I'm not sure where it went. It was on my desk. And then you're just going to mount your other piece of paper onto there. And you have it done. Mine's not quite done. And it's not quite perfect, but I just wanted you to get the idea. Let me show you the original again. There we go. There we go. So, All right. any comments? We appreciate. Uh, thank you so much for partaking in our half-hour session, and I believe you'll see Selena tomorrow. Tomorrow at 6.30, same time, and my number oh. is, if we, if I can find What's it quick enough, my number is 42. 42. Yes. Oh, Thanks for age. watching. <laughs> there we go. All right. Thank Goodbye, you, everybody. everybody. Cheers.